It's a holiday weekend, everybody. And you know what? Coming up after the holiday weekend, kids are going back to school. That happens on Tuesday right here in the city of Chicago. Some kids are already back in class. But back to school is the perfect time to get back in shape. A local fitness coach gave our Roseanne Tea some simple ways to ease into a fall fitness regime. Well, as we shed our summer vacation habits and get back into a regular routine, or at least try to, this may be the best time to make positive changes for wellness, but how can we make sure they last? Well, weight loss and wellness coach Stephanie Mansour gives us four habits and also how to make them stick. So thank you so much for being with us. Of course. And I like the first one. This is a mistake I make, mm -hmm. but you say meal prep to the max. Yes, not just meal prepping, but meal prepping to the max. So it's really simple, you know, make a grocery grocery list, go shopping on a weekend day when you may have more time, and cook your food. But taking it a step further, we want to portion our food out so we can just grab and go. So let's say you make a bunch of chicken, we're actually going to go a step further, cut it in half so it's about a fist size portion, and then pre-pack this here in a container, and then we've got room for our veggies and grains. Now once you do this, you know, you can put the lid on, put it in the fridge, and then it's very simple for you to just grab and go. It's and it's amazing what a difference that will make right. because otherwise I'll grab the wrong thing. Yes, and actually one of my private weight loss clients labels sections in her fridge Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday yeah. so that she can have this all stacked up and just know what to do. Yeah. Good <laughs> idea. Now your second tip you talk about ditching and this almost sounds counterintuitive. Yeah. Ditch lofty workout goals. Yes, Why? so a lot of times if you say hey I'm not working out right now but I want to make sure I hit the gym five times this week for 30 to 60 minutes. Well that's 500% more times you're going to the gym <laughs> right. than you now did I last what you week. Mean. Yeah. Right. So you want to set something that's going to make you feel confident that you actually can achieve it. So setting a goal of five minutes every single day while you're watching TV or while you're watching a movie on your couch, you can do something as simple as foam rolling. You can sit on your couch and squeeze a yoga block in between your thighs right. to work the inner thighs, or you can use a yoga strap to just, you know, do some stretching. But you want to get into this habit daily rather than making it a really long time period or a really lofty goal such as going to the gym. Because then sometimes you just want to give up. Right, right? exactly. After yeah. That, you just want to throw in the towel. <laughs> right. Um, you also talk about bite size and I yes. thought this might be a problem. So yeah. I'm glad to hear this because I like to nibble. Yes, I know. So it's good to have snacks that are already, again, pre-portioned and set so that you can nibble on them. So instead of just taking this big container of almonds to your to work and having it at your desk, pre-portion them. So a handful mm -hmm. of almonds, put it in a little to-go container. Similarly, you can get uh, pre-portioned nut butters and you can put an apple next to it or a banana and have that as a full snack throughout the day. But you want to be able to also have protein bars that you can grab and keep at your desk. So I've got, you know, whatever your favorite protein bar is, just make sure there's at least 10 grams of protein in there. Right. Yeah, these are great little, yeah, uh, little I ideas. I just noticed those. Yeah. And finally, <laughs> talk about rewarding ourselves like a child. Yes. Yeah, like a child. Okay, so <laughs> let's say that you, you know, you do your five minutes today. I'm going to high five you. Okay. <laughs> Didn't Let's, do it. Right. But, yeah, but yeah, felt good. Yeah, right. But Let's, I will. <laughs> yes. Let's say you meal prep. You know, I know this sounds funny, but give yourself a hug. So just like you would give a child a hug if they did a good job, you'd give them a high five. Mm. Treat yourself like a child. And finally, I want to mention, you know, do one thing throughout the day at breakfast, lunch, and dinner that can make you feel like you're eating healthier. Because sometimes we say, oh, my habit is to eat healthier. Well, mm. what does that mean? So for breakfast, add in a healthy fat. So you can add in chia seeds or flax seeds to oatmeals or smoothies. For lunch, add in a pack of protein bar to go to take as a snack after okay. lunch. And finally, for dinner, add in an extra veggie. Steph, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Of course. And for another look at Stephanie's ideas and a link to the 21-day challenge, log on to our website, cbschicago.com.